Okay, we'll do this shot. Okay. So you can pick it up. So this poor Asian laundromat worker has to deal with Fatty and his goons coming into the store so that he can give off his mildewing and disgusting clothing that hasn't been washed in over a month. It's a punishment that, honestly, I, I can't imagine the small town in New York is really ready to put up with. Either way, you know, it's all, it's all goofs and gags, guys. Come on, let's not read into it too much. Either way, today we're going to examine some things that Fatty's been up to. And I, I sort of want to use Fatty in quotation marks because... Everything that I think is posted by Fatty, outside of maybe some videos, are, so like, you know, Twitter, or Instagram, or community posts, stuff like that, I think is all done by Blazer, you know, his, his community manager, and I've even had a comment on a video previously from Fatty, talking, and it wasn't even like on a Fatty video, it was on some other video, and so it's like, okay, well, Clearly, they're aware, they're watching all the content that is going on, and I think it's kind of obvious that, like, Fatty can't even figure out how to, like, function his own videos, so I don't think he's the mastermind behind all these, all these things coming out. One of them is, there was some spat on, on Instagram with some, like, cannabis dealer or something about, I don't know, they were getting in some argument in the DMs, and... Fatty was saying, yeah, I'll come and flip your table at the next convention, or whatever. And it's like, all this, like, mad talk, it's like, I don't necessarily view Fanny as, like, a nefarious character. It doesn't really seem like it's up his wheelhouse to try and threaten people. So it sort of seems like, you know, it's probably his manager's doing. <laughs> and it's, it's excluding Chris from other communities. He even s said that he wanted to gauge interest in doing a 420 review channel. Oh, oh my god. Doesn't make any sense. I don't want to watch that. <laughs> you know, I mean, I guess you can try and separate your niche. I don't think it's going to be successful. But even still, it's like if you're getting in arguments with dealers on Instagram, I'm sure Fanny is like blacklisted from a lot of these groups online. And in turn, it's affecting his bottom line. He's not able to get these connections with other people. And he's sort of isolated. And that's sort of what the tiny house has become. He's on Blazer's family land or whatever. So he's isolated there. He doesn't have any of his friends anymore. There's getting, you know, in spats with craters online and stuff. It's like, it's not looking good. But we're going to examine some of this stuff. We're going to examine some of his shorts, some of his whatever Either way, enough babbling. What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Before we hop into the video, forgive me if you guys are hearing the sounds of fans and stuff in the background. It gets really hot in the tiny home with how well insulated it is, and it is way too hot not to be running fans. And even then, like, I might even try breaking out the AC later. It's getting that warm in here. So, we've, we've made this point before. He lives in New York, and in a lot of these, like, slightly lower northern cities you know like you know some of the midwest and new york and whatever pennsylvania you know it's going to get really humid and can be really hot at times so it's no surprise that there's a lot of heat going on he misspoke you know it's not because the house is over insulated if anything i'm worried that it's not insulated enough and it's and when the winter rolls around it's gonna be horrible in there it's that he doesn't have any ventilation inside of his house. He has, like, a couple windows, but, like, I don't think he has ventilation for the shower. So, like, humidity is just constantly building within his dwelling. So, it's not looking good. He should have AC units. He probably needs two of them, in all honesty, at, like, all times. Or, at the very least, keep all windows open to just get a draft coming in. Either way, not good. If I just hear, if I just lay here, would you lie with me and just forget the world? So this is the A-plus content that Fatty is coming up with, originality. You know, we looked at him doing the paintball art in the previous video, and now we get to see him do acapella covers of songs. Now, he's done it in the past, and it was something that Ian 
of all people pointed out during his documentary was like his content is so varied that it's like you don't know what you're gonna expect from him i am gonna save you from having to hear the rest of the acapella i mean fanny's not necessarily a bad singer he's not a singer in the regards that he could become like a professional singer or sell records or anything like that like i think he's more suited to be like second seat at like a gospel choir you know or a church choir <laughs> you know somebody who's decently good you're not offended when you hear him sing but not good enough to like blow you back you know what i'm saying So I believe this is prior to him going to New Jersey, I think, because I think he had a fresh cut and he had that little shaving in his eyebrow when he was in New Jersey doing all those all those tomfoolery videos down on the boardwalk. But, you know, you know you're going to a really uptight establishment when you have some crackhead dancing right next door to the shuttered business adjacent to your ad adjacent to your barbershop he also just sort of looks like a koi fish with its head poking out of the water waiting to get some food dropped into him by somebody that's standing on the pier you know what i'm saying so it's just like it's cool it's whatever and you know if if this is the content that fanny wants to to navigate towards because i actually don't think his shorts are that bad because like the short snippets i can sort of get past all the all the bad ones that are just like okay yeah dude cool cool nice and get to the ones that he's like hotboxing inside of his outhouse it's like those ones are pretty decent it's better than like the stretch out long form content that he doesn't cut and edit anything out of so then it's just like a complete mess Wow, the diet is back on the menu, boys. You know, it's always funny. I just wish that anybody that would ever talk about dieting or getting in better shape or even making content related to that would just be consistent or honest. It's like, Fatty has zero interest in losing weight, and like, that's perfectly fine if he doesn't try and masquerade it or say things from time to time. And in defense, it can be like a defense mechanism in certain instances. So like, when he's gone to like, the Chinese buffet, and he's like, oh, it's a cheat meal, or it's like a one-off thing, I haven't eaten anything all day today. That's just a defense mechanism to like, try and brace yourself from criticism. It doesn't work because people see right through it. It's like, well, if you're actually losing weight, and we could see progress in different videos, then it wouldn't be a big deal. But it's like, if you want to eat, you, you want to double fist donuts for a meme or whatever, and that's what you want to do every day, go off, King. I don't wholly endorse it, but if that's the content you want to make, sure, you can do that. I'm not going to stop you. But don't come back and say I'm going to start doing exercise videos, or I'm going to eat better, or that this spaghetti dish he makes later in the video is actually healthy and nutritional. It's like, stick in your lane. We just recently hit 500,000, which is absolutely amazing. We are working on a special that should be out within hopefully the next two weeks' time. Take a little extra time with it to make sure it's nice and special. Thanks, fatty of the past. That was a great intro. Thank you. And yeah, congratulations on the uh, 500,000 subs. Woohoo! We can barely hold the camera still. You know, it's really nice to start off your video by just like completely gargling your own balls and, and, and filleting yourself. And it's like, it's cool, you can be happy that you reach 500,000 subscribers. I know, so I check in with the Reddit every once in a while, in case any of the Reddit people watch any of these fanny videos. I check in every once in a while just to see what's going on. And, you know, there was some back and forth about whether or not people think it was legitimate that fanny gained these extra subscribers and views and whatever. So, like, the only odd part of fanny's social blade is that in the past like week or two his like views and subs like skyrocketed like more than normal but it's not like crazy skyrocketing he usually will gain maybe a thousand subscribers a week maybe 
you know, maybe every other week, something like that. And then the past week to get to 500,000 subs, he, he got like 3,000 or like a little bit more than that. So it's a little bit odd, but it's not completely out of the ordinary. And like initially I looked at it and I saw his like views uptick and I was like, oh, that's kind of weird. But then I realized he basically posts a short every single day, roughly. And each of his shorts get like 15k views, something like that. Some of them do better, some of them do a little bit worse, but 15k is probably right around where the average is. And so, you know, you do some math in your head, and yeah, you're getting a million views in a month or whatever. It's not that bad, it's not that far off. I don't think there's anything nefarious going on because it would be the dumbest thing <laughs> to take a channel that has almost 500,000 subs. 99% of them are inactive and then buy your way to 500,000 subs for literally no reason. It doesn't matter because there's not like some new plaque you can get at 500,000 subs. There's it doesn't make a lot of sense. So I'm going to I'm going to squash that there and I'm going to say I think the subs were legit. I think there's a lot of traffic coming from the shorts. However, shorts views don't translate to money like at all. <laughs> you know, your your CPM for shorts is like one one hundredth of like a normal video typically i mean i make longer videos so it, it varies but it's 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 a lot less money so even if he's getting like a million views on shorts that probably translates to like ten thousand views or something like that in like a normal video so it's not great either way i think i think he's in the clear that's a mess now that makes the perfect uh serving things and then you do then you're gonna take two hot dogs cut them up and use the other two serving things so that you portion out the perfect amount of hot dogs and peas so yeah when I was young put the scissors away kid because you're gonna hurt someone and as you can see my weenies all peed up hell yeah so you probably have no idea, just based off of this initial clip, that Fanny's about to make spaghetti. <laughs> Nothing says spaghetti like a nice pea and hot dog combination. Now, like, I've seen, like, carbonaras that have peas in it. I've seen that. He's obviously not making carbonara. He doesn't, he probably can't even pronounce carbonara. He doesn't know what that is. But it's also nice that Fatty still, I guess, doesn't have any cooking utensils, really, because he's just chopping hot dogs on his countertop. You know, he's not going to get a, a plastic, you know, I don't support plastic utensils in the kitchen typically, but he's not going to get a plastic cutting board that costs $3 at Walmart. That's not going to happen. He's just going to cut it straight on the counter, leave the hot dog juice. Who cares? We're putting him in ice cube trays or, like, potted plant containers i don't know what's going on here i don't know why he's portioning it like this it it's whatever let's get to the spaghetti so first sauce you want to put in there is that spaghetti sauce that delicious red goodness the one with that four cheese and now you're going to take that four cheese tomato uh, tomato sauce pasta sauce whatever you want to call it and we're going to make it a five cheese we don't need a we don't need a whole lot just a little bit here so, like, it, he would be shocked by how easy it is to make your own red sauce. It's so easy. I didn't even realize this until, like, a couple years ago. Where, where, like, yeah, I would buy Prego or whatever from the store. And it doesn't, it tastes fine. It doesn't taste great. Making it fresh is so easy and tastes so much better. And, like, I wish that there would be some progress in these cooking videos where it's not, like... And, like, the crazy part is... You can make a tomato sauce for like the same cost of a jar of tomatoes. It's really cheap, especially considering you can buy a bunch of things like onions and garlic and seasonings and, you know, whatever, oregano and thyme, whatever you might want to throw in there for cheap. And tomatoes are relatively cheap, especially if you get like smaller ones. You can store them, you can chop them up right away, you can put them in a million different things. It's like, it's way more versatile. And I wish that these videos would actually take the approach of, okay, well, I want to do a cheap fatty man's video of spaghetti pasta. Well, that's cool. Let's see it. But where you actually make the effort of making something fresh and cheap. Because it is possible. It's not completely insane. And then you'll have extra ingredients to put towards your next thing. And it's like, 
all this, plus he's pouring like cheese sauce into his pasta. It's like these two don't go together. It's not, I mean, it's gonna be gross. Just do better. And now that it's just starting to boil, we're gonna go ahead and drop this all in. Peas and the weenies, you know. And of course, now that she's all stirred up and everything's in there, we're gonna throw in our barbecue burger seasoning. You don't need a whole, whole lot. Try not to give it enough to get a little sweetness to it. Now we're gonna stir it. And now that the burger seasoning's in there, actually I might add a little bit more here. The cheese! You know, I, I've seen videos before that talk about how if you're making, you know, those like short, like 20 second clips on Instagram of people making food, it's like their remedy to always make things taste good or look good or whatever is just put so much cheese into it that you completely destroyed the flavor. I don't know why cheese has to be included in this. And it's like, Part of me sitting here and it's like, I wonder if clips like this were like shown at like war trials at the end of World War II to Italians because I've seen plenty of clips of like an authentic Italian seeing somebody cut up their spaghetti or like make it weird or whatever and it's like they're like, it's a disgrace to them and it's like, what do they think about something like this? <laughs> <laughs> where Fanny is just making a gross concoction of food and it's really just abhorrent. It's scary. You know, I don't see how anybody can view this as possibly tasting good. And he'll say it later, but like this whole dish would be, he, he loves ground beef. You know, get some ground pork, you know, brown up some br ground pork and this will make this dish infinitely better than using hot dogs as your pork substitution. It's like... Oh, God. I get it for the shock effect, but over time, it's like, get it together. Delicious spaghetti. Peas and hot dogs. I think this is a thick, a good spaghetti. Uh, get a little bit with some of the peas in there. Mmm. Mmm. I mean, it's just a pile of goy slop. It's just disgusting, gross stuff. And it's like, part of me, part of me is always like, I, I know Fandy's probably in slight financial dire straits. I don't know the severity of anything related to it. I mean, he obviously had to have a GoFundMe help him live somewhere. But I would, I would just be more appreciative if he would just do like fast food reviews than doing stuff like this. Maybe I'm in the wrong, but I feel like if he's not going to make any efforts to make his food healthy or even appetizing or try and learn something new, what's the point? Might as well just see him make, you know, do a White Castle Sliders review. You know, it's just like, I don't know. <laughs> it, it just, it never, none of the foods ever make any sense together. It's just, no. At least adds a texture. I don't know, I think the next time I make this, I'd use actual hamburger meat and then hot dogs. Mm. Mm. The peas add a certain sweetness and texture that's good. I don't think I've ever heard peas being described as sweet. And now that I'm sitting here, I'm having like an existential crisis trying to think if like peas are a sweeter type of food, like vegetable. I think they might be slightly sweet, but I feel like typically in the experience that I've had them, they are sort of like a potato substitute because they're kind of creamy. And so like, and they can be a little bit salty. I don't know. I, I used to eat pea soup a lot as a kid, so, like, that's my main experience with peas. I didn't eat them raw all that much, but, like, you know, you have to love him using his belly as his his, <laughs> as his table. He's just dropping specks of food on it, picking it up, putting it back in the bowl to eat for later. You know, you need to get that sweat and that slime and that grease all over it in order to really, really accentuate the flavors of Florentine Italy. You know, really, really get that oomph of Milan, you know? <laughs> that being 
being said, please make sure to listen to Fatty of the Past. And like, comment, and subscribe. Alright? That's the way we grow here. That being said, um, always check those descriptions. Mm, well, I can't talk right now. Always check those descriptions. We've got interesting links there to different things like the Instagram and the Cameo and a bunch of other stuff. So you just kind of have to go through it and find out what you like. Am I too nitpicky to really hate these type of closures to videos? You know, I, I feel like I've probably done this in the past. I don't really do it at all anymore. S telling people to check out everything in the description, like the video, subscribe to the video, uh, you know, come fondle me in the bathroom type. You know, it's just like, I feel like I don't do that a lot anymore and I don't like it when I see it from other creators and Fanny's not the only one because I feel like the, the meta game of YouTube has changed a lot because now even like ad reads the ones like usually you skip through it but there are some people that actually put effort into their ad reads and like make you want to watch it and it's like i feel like it should be the same for things like this it's like what what is you sitting there telling me to go check out your cameo how is that gonna inspire me i don't know i mean i guess maybe i'm missing out on some cash money some cash dough by not doing that but like I don't know. I feel like it deters from the entire concept and it sort of makes it feel a little bit inauthentic. It makes me feel like, well, you're just trying to, you know, squeeze some extra change out of me. And like, that's what Fanny is doing. <laughs> I mean, that's why the GoFundMe is still up. You know, it's just basically a PayPal depository for him. So it's just like, I don't know. I don't know, man. Either way, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll talk to you guys soon. Uh, peace.